WebBridge 3 has a slight change with certificate requirements. You can reuse your old WebBridge certificate, but you have to be aware of these changes. Let's look at the requirements for WebBridge 3 certificates. WebBridge 3 has an HTTPS certificate that needs to at least have web server authentication in extended key usage. It also requires a C2W certificate used when talking to CallBridge that has to have both server authentication and client authentication enhanced key usage. Optionally though, if your certificate doesn't have either server nor client authentication, this will work as either usage is assumed. Lastly, the WebBridge 3 certificate has to have the Cisco meeting servers FQDN or IPs in the CN or SAN list. So let's look at making a chain certificate. I have here my WebBridge certificate that I used on my old WebBridge server. It has both client and server authentication and has all my CMS servers in the SAN list. When you open it up and look at the certificate path, you'll see that there's an intermediate and root certificate authority. I'm going to extract these CA certificates from my WebBridge cert and make my chain. I'll begin by clicking the intermediate certificate, then view certificate, then details, and copy to file. Click next. Then we want to save this as base64 encoded. Then browse for a file location and save this to your hard drive as the intermediate CA certificate. When we click finish, the file is actually saved. Then click OK out of these two dialogs and go back to the original certificate. Now we're going to export the root certificate in the exact same way. Click on Details, Copy to File, save it as a Base64 encoded file. And once we're done now, we have three files, the original WebBridge certificate, the intermediate certificate, and the root CA certificate. Although it's possible you may have multiple intermediate certificates. Now that I have all three of these certificates, it's important to understand the order that you need to follow to create the chain. The entity cert will be on top, intermediates in the middle, and it should end with the root CA certificate on the bottom. And importantly, don't forget the single carriage return at the bottom of your certificate chain. It should end with an empty line. So let's open these three certificates in a text editor like Notepad++. Now that they're all open, just remember the order. Entity on top, intermediate in the middle, and root certificate at the bottom. Finishing with a single carriage return. WebBridge is my entity certificate, so that's going on top. Below that is my intermediate certificate, so I'm going to just copy all of the intermediate contents and just paste it right below my WebBridge certificate. Finally, it's the root certificate, so again, I'm copying the contents of the root certificate and pasting it directly below the intermediate certificate. And remember to have a carriage return here at the end of the file. Now, let's save this file as webridgetrust.cer. And that's it. We've made the WebBridge 3 Trust Chain Certificate. Now you can use this certificate chain for both WebBridge 3 HTTPS and WebBridge 3 C2W certificates. The key file used with the original WebBridge certificate can be renamed and used as the key for this new certificate chain. If you're testing WebBridge 3 in CMS 2.9, the C2W trust file needs to be a CA trust chain. As of 3.0, you can use the full trust chain that we just created, but in 2.9, it has to be a CA chain. To do that, simply create a bundle that just includes your intermediate certificates on top, followed by your root certificates, followed by a carriage return. So again, just as an example, I'm going to open these in a text editor, copy the contents of the root CA, paste them below the intermediate CA, and put an empty line at the bottom. I'll save this file as cachain.cer and use it for my C2W trust certificate. And again, this isn't required for CMS 3.0. Just use the webridgetrust.cer file that we created earlier. And that's all there is to creating the certificate chains required for WebRidge 3. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.